Cheers from Nuked London, home of the best three-eyed fish and chips in the Milky Way. The Hatriots hooligans have been drinking all morning here outside Flemley Stadium, and they are ready for blood. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Nuked London Hatriots. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. Second down in a lot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40, and that's how you run the football. First down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a brutal hit! Second down and five. That ball was almost intercepted. Third down and five. Oh, you see that saw, Bricks? He never saw that. I saw what you saw. A saw you never saw. See, there's the saw there. I see. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It probably is. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. What uh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so do the fans. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. A great throw and a great catch, but sadly to the wrong. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. 
name. This is the Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, and the defense just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps and undo a mistake you did about 35 years ago. Kaboom! And, and the defense calls the Thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Doesn't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. I don't even get out of It's first and ten. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was... Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Jim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. A nice run for five yards. Third and one. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking street ball here. Brick. Man, oh man, he hit that line the way your wife hits the all-you-can-eat buffet of crab apple trees, Bricks. Ah, uh, you're telling me. She ate 47 Salisbury steaks one time. Thought she had food poisoning. Turns out her low intestines just exploded. No, that's really because there's nothing worse than food poisoning. Oh, uh, it looks like the lineman wanted to get the ball a high five. That he did, Bricks. That he did. Second down and ten. The defender's ball speed just kicked in. He's so fast, he could run a kick off for a touchdown before the ball was even kicked. Third down and the punter is warming up. unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah oh yeah i have pictures that uh that, well maybe i actually shouldn't discuss this on here they just let that one drop and play it safe and the defense says we'll take it and it's first and ten Six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. And he laterals at the left. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell run for a yard. And it looks like we've got a penalty here. some payback after that boring but smart time to punt whoa whoa you can't say that on the radio he boomed that one let's see if they can get a return and he's got a chance and that's how you get your buzz on in the nfl Pow! with the brain scrambler oh you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today folks these 
teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. a first down from a oh, holy smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl and it's first and ten was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and seven. And he zips that one in there for a touchdown. Since when is that a penalty? Uh, since now, I guess, Grim. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down and ain't going to happen, partner. Right, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. Teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck, and he finds open space and running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this guy looks kind of familiar. Yeah, he was in that 80s band. Men without heads, remember? We can dance if we want to. Not bad for a guy 100 years old. <laughs> He's aged better than Keith Richards. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Oh, with a brutal hit. And that'll be second down and four. with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's
It's first and ten. And he's a boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First down and five. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Pass down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Swants the ball away with those meaty paws. God, it looks so snugly. Yeah, I guess if you're a monster. Second down and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First down and three. Second down and five. Defense holds him to a four yard pickup there. And that'll bring up third and one. They're going for two points. And he let it off the ball. The defense comes up big, stopping a two-point attempt. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to First and ten. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball, Betty Trick. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's
It's first and ten. And it's two minutes left in the half. I can't wait to the halftime show. Second down and long. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. Sandwich. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> Pass and catch for three. The receiver needs to break some tackles. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? No, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. A nice pickup for six yards. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And that'll be second down and four. Timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. <laughs> And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. And that's why they call it the money shot. Boom! Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And that'll be their final timeout. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, man, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? Football is a team sport, and that's why you should...
should never think about mine unless it's that kind. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh boy, where are we going, man? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're gonna go to a strip show, where are we going? Hey, why don't you settle down, just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Second and three. And he breaks from He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? He might catch him. Oh, you fat little Milton. Murphy Brown! Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. First down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. Second down and two. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! I will pass Kimmel and Kimmel! I will kill him and kill him! And they come to the line trying to tie this up with two points. And if they don't, things are going to get weird and desperate on this sideline. Hey, give them more credit, Brick. They're not you after four beers. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third. 
third down and well good luck. Unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They clank, you moron. He said balls. Not Great play by the defense. It's not too often a court. And there is nothing in the rule book for that penalty. The ref appears to be cheating. He's just making shit up. Thank God he's still got his. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho. Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense gets another pick. Man. Wow! Like a blockmobile crashing into a slaughterhouse. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. And that'll be second and eight to go. And the quarterback throws another pick. He you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. <laughs> the defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. First and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined, you'd expect him not to. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Touchdown! Man, he's dancing like a zonked out jam band enthusiast. Oh, that guy was spent his entire offseason. <laughs> Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. 
What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They get straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. No one was interested in that incomplete pass. Uh, not a the ref that just called that penalty, he was convicted of marrying old ladies and stealing their savings. That sounds like a good job. He's right at home here taking money from coaches, players, and fans. I even saw him swiping money from the bathroom attendant. Yeah, who don't do that? And it's first and ten. Check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First and eight to go. Wow, the quarterback and they brought him to a dead stop, literally. <laughs> oh, man. The offense is down to their last two receivers. Once they're gone, it's game over, baby. Ah, those poor receivers. They're really getting a snot kicked out of them. Someone ought to just shoot them, put them out of their misery. Ah, uh, don't worry, that's coming. And that'll bring up second and one. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. And Link brings his foul. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. He's at the 10, and he runs it in for the touchdown. I'll just assume that to orcs, this is arousing somehow. Assume all you want and don't make it true. <laughs> the offense is down to their final receiver. They'll be playing shorthanded. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. Looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Good night, Irene. You ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the 
secondary four. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. down and long. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Two left. They might consider running the ball more. Third down and nine. The defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. First and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. It's another pick. Man, oh, man, the deep, and he just slipped away like a grease. But, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and eight. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know why I'm at. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. The 10. He makes the pick and returns it for a touchdown! What a play! Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good! When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Bricks? Hey, have you seen my beer? In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Oh, that was a hit. 
You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. None less, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! If you jump over those mines or steer clear of them. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. The offense is down to their last two linemen. Once they're gone, it's game over. Yeah, who cares? Linemen suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. The defense is running low on line bashers. They have only two left. They need to play smart from here on out. That's defense, Grim. You're asking too much of them. And they line up for the extra point. right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Prince's and ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yes. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercepted, though. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's at the 10. Goal! If you ever do that again, Bricks, I'll shoot you in the head. But people like it. <laughs> Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Well, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with the uh, no mustard? Ghost. <laughs> The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? And well, that's a real buzzkill. And the defense is on his heels. He's Somebody get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. There are no more receivers, so it's game over next time the offense takes the field. If the other team punts, that's the game, right, Finn? That's right, Bricks. And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and ten. And like bricks his balls, he... Oh, and he just made a nice cut to avoid the saw. But the saw just made a better, cleaner cut to the ball carrier. Say 
what? Come on, man, you can't hang with me. You get in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. The New London Patriots suffer a humiliating defeat by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition did. Gotta love that fan. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.